This is MSJ Chem, and in this video, we're going to look at the catalytic destruction of ozone by nitrogen monoxide and CFCs. So let's start by looking at nitrogen monoxide. Nitrogen monoxide is produced in internal combustion engines in vehicles by the direct combination of nitrogen and oxygen at high temperatures. This equation shows the formation of nitrogen monoxide from nitrogen and oxygen in the presence of high temperatures inside an internal combustion engine, nitrogen monoxide is formed. Because it has an unpaired electron, the nitrogen monoxide molecule is a free radical, which makes it very reactive. Next, we look at the destruction of ozone by the nitrogen monoxide molecule. In this equation, we have nitrogen monoxide reacting with ozone to form nitrogen dioxide and an oxygen molecule. In the second equation, we have nitrogen dioxide reacting with an oxygen radical to reform nitrogen monoxide and another oxygen molecule. The nitrogen monoxide is a catalyst because it is reformed in this reaction, therefore it can catalyze the destruction of more ozone. In the overall equation for the process, we have ozone reacting with an oxygen free radical to form molecular oxygen. Next, we look at the chlorofluorocarbons or the CFCs. Here's an example of a CFC, it's Freon-12. As you can see, it's a carbon atom bonded to two fluorine atoms and two chlorine atoms. CFCs were widely used in aerosols, refrigerants, solvents and plastics due to their low toxicity, low flammability and lack of reactivity. In 1987, it was decided that their use should be phased out because of their ozone depleting ability. The chlorine atoms in CFCs act as catalysts to convert ozone to molecular oxygen. In the first equation in this process, the carbon to chlorine bond is broken in the presence of UV light to form a chlorine radical. Chlorine radicals are highly reactive and they're able to catalyze the destruction of ozone. In this equation, we have the chlorine radical reacting with ozone to form a chlorine monoxide radical and molecular oxygen. In the second equation, we have the chlorine monoxide radical reacting with an oxygen radical to form molecular oxygen and a chlorine radical. The chlorine radical is a catalyst because it is reformed in this reaction and then goes on to react again with ozone. And finally, the overall equation for the process is ozone reacting with an oxygen radical to form molecular oxygen. So that's all from this video. Don't forget to check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet. 